I am Teacher Mayan. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we are going to find the missing term in a proportion. Let us define first what is a proportion. So when you say proportion, it is a statement of equality of two ratios wherein the product of the means should be equal to the product of the extremes. So in 12 is to 27 is equal to 4 is to 9. The first term is 12. The second term will be 27. The third term will be 4. And then our last term or fourth term will be 9. The second term and the third term will be our means. And then the first term and the fourth term term will be our extremes. So, to prove na proportion sila, we are going to multiply the means, which is 27 and 4. So, 27 times 4 is 108. And then, multiplying the extremes, which are 12 and 9. So, 12 times 9 is also 108. So, therefore, it is a proportion. So, how are you going to find the missing term in a proportion? So, let's have the example. Find the value of n in 2 is to 5 is equal to n is to 30. So, let's have the first method. We are going to multiply the means, which is 5 and n. So, 5 times n will be 5n. And multiplying the extremes which are 2 and 30. So, 2 times 30 is equal to 60. After multiplying the means and extremes, we are going to divide 60 by 5. So, 60 divided by 5 will give us 12. So, therefore, the missing term n is equal to 12. To check our answer if it is correct, so we are going to substitute the value of n. So we have 2 is to 5 is equal to 12 is to 30. So again, multiplying the means 5 and 12 will give us 60. And then 2 times 30 will give also 60. So therefore, our answer is correct. How about the second method? So, 2 is to 5 and n is to 30. We are going to rewrite this into a fraction form. So, that would be 2 over 5 and n over 30. So, using the cross product, 2 times 30 will give us 60. And then, 5 times n will give us 5n. So, dividing both sides by 5 or multiplying both sides by 1 fifth 5 divided by 5 or 5 times 1 fifth is equal to 1 and that will give us n and 60 times 1 fifth will give us 60 over 5 and then 60 divided by 5 is 12 so the answer is also 12 how about 3 is to 8 is equal to n is to 24? So, again, we are going to multiply the means. 8 times n is equal to 8n. And then, multiplying the extremes 3 times 24, we have 72. Then, 72 divided by 8 will give us 9. So, therefore, the value of n is equal to Nine. How about 2 is to n, or 2 over n is equal to 27 over 108, or 27 is to 108. So using the cross product, 2 times 108 will give us 216, and then 27 times n will give us 27n. So we have now 216 is equal to 27 over n. So, multiplying both sides by 1 over 27, or dividing both sides by 27, so 27 divided by 27 is equal to n, and then 216 divided by 27 is equal to 8. So, therefore, the value of n is equal to 8. How about 10 books is to 5 pupils 
as blank books is to 15 pupils. So the ratio is books to pupils. So we have now 10 books is to 5 pupils. So that would be 10 to 5 or 10 is to 5 is equal to the number of books to 15 pupils. We are going to let x be the books. So we have x is to 15. So again, um, to find the value of x, simply multiply the means which are 5 and x. So 5 times x is 5x. And then multiplying the extremes 10 times 15, we have 150. And then 150 divided by 5 will give us 30. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 30.